and thanks everyone for tuning in with the uh, live version or checking it out the uh, recorded version later. I'm a mechanical engineer currently serving as a product manager here at, C at CATI. Started using the SOLIDWORKS SIM tools back in the 2000 release and I've seen the functionality there grow pretty significantly. I joined the reseller community in 2005, about the same time when the SO purchased Abacus Incorporated to add those uh, advanced capabilities that they have to the DSO software or to the CATI software lineup. And that capability is the main subject of my presentation today. I'll convey to you some information that should lead to these three key takeaways. So hopefully I will have accomplished that at the end of this presentation and we'll see if that's the case. Here's where we're headed. As I mentioned, the main focus is going to be on the advanced simulation tools offered within the Simulia portfolio of products. We'll be reviewing the chat for any questions that come along. So just uh, and put those in there. We'll address them at the end of the, the presentation. So hang on. Here we go. First, a word about CATI. As the first North American reseller of SOLIDWORKS solutions, CATI has been working with engineering and design firms for a little over 28 years. We provide some industry-leading software and hardware solutions to our customers. The mergers with other great resellers like MCAD, 3D Vision, and Fisher Unitech along the way have allowed us to form a strong team uh, with many years of experience in sales, engineering, project management, and technical services. Currently have 34 training facilities and offices in 30 states plus the District of Columbia. So this means that, you know, with our dedicated team of pros and the great products that we offer, CATI can be your one-stop shop for your engineering software and hardware needs. And our, as in, in our motto, we truly want to be your trusted partner and provide the solutions you need to help make your business successful. So enough about the little promotional information. Let's get into uh, what we provide. So we have a complete solution portfolio. We offer products from multiple software vendors, 3D printing and scanning solutions. We offer also a small scale milling machine from Roland and uh, computer hardware from Box, and then uh, also some training and consulting services along the way. Our simulation products come from the several, several brands, the familiar SOLIDWORKS brand, like uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation for finite element analysis, uh, flow simulation for computational fluid dynamics analysis, and the SOLIDWORKS Plastics, which is our injection molding software. We also offer Altair simulation tools that fill in some of the gaps like casting and bulk material handling simulations. The focus of my presentation is really on the advanced simulation tools offered by Dassault, and specifically the Simulia portfolio of products. So let's dive into that. First, who is Dassault? If you're not familiar, Dassault Systems has uh, over 13,000 employees worldwide and that serve nearly 200,000 customers. So quite a, a wide ranging organization. The Simulia brand of Dassault Systems has about 1,050 of those employees in 29 centers of excellence across the country and across the world. Um, larger, a large un user community, over 150,000 users, they cover many different industries in many different countries. CATI is one of the solution partners, one of the 179 solution partners that, we have, that they have. All right, so what is this thing I'm calling the Simulia portfolio? So here's a summary. And uh, there are four different products that make up the portfolio. The first is Abacus, which is the advanced finite element analysis tool. Tosca, 
which offers non-parametric design optimization. FE-SAFE, which is the advanced fatigue analysis software. And finally, EyeSight, which is a process or process automation and design optimization tool. So this is the, the portfolio. Let's look at a little, about, a little bit about the history, the evolution of that portfolio and how it came about. Apicus Incorporated developed their flagship FEA tool back in 1978. This was before desktop computing was even a real thing. Um, so those that program ran on, you know, high-end computing stations. So Dassault purchased them in the 2000, year 2000 to form the, the start of the Simulia portfolio. The other three tools were added after that with EyeSight purchased from Ingenious Software Company in 2008. 2013 saw the addition of the two remaining tools, Tosca and EpiSafe from the acquisitions of FE Design and Safe Technology. For the remainder of this presentation, I'll give you an overview and some examples of each of the products. First and foremost is Abacus, the finite element analysis program. That's the really the workhorse of the portfolio products. You can handle linear and nonlinear analysis, incorporate either the implicit or explicit solvers. Nonlinear solutions using the explicit solver, an advanced general contact algorithm, and fracture mechanics allow capturing true-to-life events like vehicle crash scenarios where there's a high strain with lots of plastic deformation involved. I'll show a couple of video clips of that in a bit. Composite shell elements are available and co-simulation with other tools. Those allow advocates to interact with other software. Abacus runs in a standalone interface with the uh, associative interface connector that interact with your favorite CAD program. There's Python scripting available for special commands, material characterization based on material test data for things like elastomers. The solution can be performed locally or on cloud. And this opens up the ability to run high performance computing with multiple cores, hundreds of cores uh, to handle some large scale problems. Here's a look at the interface itself. So you see the, the model with a displacement plot in the middle there. We have navigation tools all around for complete control with the model and results tree. And some of this, the solutions that we can generate, you see some screenshots here of those. So it basically, they, they empower all levels of, of users from designers to analysts with increasing levels of sophistication and detail. The, uh, the crash simulation on the top right is probably uh, one of the most uh, significant in terms of the the uh, explicit solution, the nonlinear explicit solution. Uh, the one to the left of that with the wave simulation is a smooth particle hydrodynamics simulation that allows that. We have the drop test capabilities uh, going to the left. We also have a, a stent, a heart stent being, or an artery stent being expanded with a special alloy. And then uh, on the bottom right with the tire simulating hydroplaning. So lots of uh, interaction there with other components, or in this case of the hydroplaning with the fluid itself. Then here's a great video that shows the, the incredible capacity to, to handle the highly nonlinear complex simulations, many contact interactions. So to get here, you know, in addition to the the explicit solution with the, the large strains and deformations. What's really key here is the general contact algorithm that allows all the interactions between the, the vehicles as well as the parts that make up each vehicle 
full disclosure here, I did not perform this analysis. It was uh, done by Dassault, provided by them, and accomplished with, uh, I believe, hundreds of uh, CPU cores. To coin a phrase, this ain't your father's simulation, that's for sure. All right, now let's take a look at the next tool, which is the Tosca optimization tool. Topology optimization may be familiar to you if you run simulation professional at this time. So recently added to the, the simulation professional program, this, this topology functionality from Dassault, um, it allows us to do one part of the, the full gamut of optimization that is offered with Dassault, namely the topology and the, the shape optimization. So this should look familiar if you've run the SimPro topology study. Uh, so we can, with this, the, with the Tosca topology and shape optimization, we can generate an organically shaped part that meets the needs of stress and deflection. We start with the design space and allow the program to remove material and generate a part of adequate stiffness to carry the imposed loads. Additional functionality offered within Tosca is the ability to determine the optimal thickness of sheet metal parts. This is called the sizing optimization routine. So the image on the left shows color-coded thicknesses of varying thickness with the uh, before and after of the optimization process. On the, on the right, we see an example of uh, lowered stress of an optimized sheet metal part. <clears throat> A third capability of Tosca is what's called bead optimization. This allows the generation of raised structures within the geometry to increase the stiffness of parts. So these three optimization routines make Tosca a really versatile program to handle a wide variety of parts and optimization of them. Okay, on to FE Safe, the advanced fatigue program. I'll show you a couple of reasons why advanced fatigue simulation is, is very important. First, here's a really interesting case study from Hyundai Motor Company, a fatigue analysis of a suspension arm. So the benchmark was to investigate the effect of an overload as if the vehicle had hit a curb. There are three scenarios investigated and there was physical testing to, to uh, back up the, uh, the analysis. The first was essentially a constant amplitude, low level load. So the load wasn't changing over time. EpiSafe predicted the, the fatigue location at the top of the, the bolt holes, as you see here. And this is where the part actually failed during tests. The second scenario was to scale the load up to imitate the load applied at the point where the vehicle hit a curb. So there again, you see the, the high loading from that, and that would be repeated. And again, as you probably suspect, the uh, FE-Safe predicted that failure as well, and it's also near the, the bolt holes. And that was also confirmed during testing with that similar load environment. The third analysis was to combine the, two, the first two scenarios, an overload followed by a constant amplitude, lower level load. Based on the first two results, it would seem logical to predict the same failure location. However, this was not the case. The failure location is determined by FE saved shifted significantly onto the arm of the component. Again, this was validated in the tests. So this shows quite clearly that the sequencing of loading can have a dramatic effect on the failure location itself, an impact that's impossible to incorporate except by using the advanced fatigue analysis of FEC.
advanced soft, fatigue software is needed also because cracks may not start in the areas of the maximum stress. On this drive shaft component, the crack did not start from the point of maximum stress and the results were confirmed by testing. So the more complex the loading, the less correlation there is between stress plots and light plots. And therefore, it's dangerous to assume that the high stress points are the only ones that need to be checked for fatigue. Additional functionality can be added to FESAFE to support fatigue analysis of welded joints with the Verity module. Thermal mechanical fatigue can be handled with the Turbo Life add-on. So that would be uh, applicable to things with thermal cycling, like an exhaust manifold or a turbo charger. And fatigue life prediction for elastomers is enabled with the FESAFE rubber add-on. Now I'll wrap up the, the uh, discussion of the modules with the discussion about EyeSight, which is the process automation, automation tool. If Abacus is considered the workhorse of Somalia, then I would say that EyeSight could be considered the backbone that allows everything to work together. You see the diagram, the flow diagram there where we're interacting with the CAD geometry. We're bringing in the, the model and working out the, the uh, finite element analysis for stress, stress and reflection, durability, and optimization. The optimization routine would iterate through the process of running the FEA uh, using FE Safe to calculate fatigue and then task a structure to op further optimize the design. So that process is repeated with the help of the EyeSight process automation tool. We see how EyeSight ties everything together in one nice package where everything is interacting together. So the, the process automation setup is done quite easily with the, uh, the graphical workflow that's available in EyeSight. Multiple supported applications can be added to the workflow. You'll notice many familiar ones like SOLIDWORKS and Microsoft Excel on this list here. So a drag and drop basically builds the, the process flow. And then we can uh, simulate many processes, including design of experiments, Monte Carlo, Six Sigma, and a solution that would achieve, say, a targeted value. The next slide will show a video that, that briefly shows how all this is tied together using EyeSight. It's a, uh, it focuses on a motorcycle braking system. There is audio to it, but it won't, uh, won't play through the WebEx, so here's the video.
right. So the Samulia licensing is handled using tokens and trigrams, allowing for flexibility in deciding which functionality is needed through the licensing. Tokens and available credits determine how much computing power is required. So it's a very flexible licensing system uh, whereby you, you pretty much purchase which parts of the portfolio you need and get the amount of tokens or credits to solve the, the size of problem in an efficient manner. So the value offered by the Simulia portfolio is an all encompassing and includes some realistic simulation that incorporates uh, fatigue and durability, uh, high performance computing. So it can handle even the largest of jobs. Optimization is an important part of the process. And it's all tied to the familiar CAD tools like SolidWorks. So I think I've given you some good information, sort of introduce, introduce you to the portfolio uh, that we offer here at CATI related to the simulation tools, the powerful simulation tools. And as I said in the beginning of the presentation, we do want to be your trusted partner and believe we can provide you with the, the software that you'll need to meet all of your simulation analysis requirements. Thanks for your time and attention today. Please reach out to discuss how we can help provide you with the right simulation solution now.